The commissioners banned any new juvenile group homes for at least six months. Our I-team first reported in July. Montgomery County has more foster group homes than anywhere else in Ohio. And John Bedell has followed this growing foster care and system problem for months. This morning after that vote, city and community leaders talked to him about what they're doing to fix the problem. To have uh, resolution number 6813-24 uh, declared an emergency. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Okay. It was unanimous. Dayton City Commission voted 5-0 to say no more new group homes in the city for at least the next six months. Why is this needed now? Well, to slow down the, um, the, the uh, influx, if you will, of more and more young people. Because during this next 180 days, we have schools going on, we have other things that are happening, and the aspect of uh, young people coming and trying to get into the mix, of, if you will, to move in the right direction is challenging for uh, all those partners that we have that are supporting young people. City and community leaders told me they hope to take the time this ban covers over the next 180 days to continue discussions about possible solutions. No, we need to take a pause. Will Peterson's group represents 20 of the foster group homes in the city. He's in favor of the moratorium, but wants to be included in those talks. Because we have some ideas that we think can really help along with this process and that everybody can get their needs met. As the I-Team first uncovered in July, out of the 220 foster group homes for kids across Ohio, 78 are in Montgomery County. These are homes for children who, for whatever reason, have been removed from their homes and are currently in the state's care. In many cases, the kids are not from Montgomery County, and officials say it's due to a lack of facilities across Ohio. And it's straining local resources, everything from law enforcement agencies to the juvenile court system to health care services at Dayton Children's Hospital. And of course, that was John Bedell reporting. State lawmakers have also been involved in talks about potential solutions. They're working on a bill to address this. It would increase accountability for group homes for children and work to put more foster group homes in other parts of the state and place kids in them closer to their hometowns and families.